Hi guys and ladies, I made a recipe three years ago that turned out right. In fact, it blew me away and it's time to make it again. It's fish chowder. So I picked up all the ingredients, ah, uh, except one. <laughs> well, you know which it is, it's the fish. So let's try to get some fish for our chowder. I'm gonna make my first cat right here off the dock. Here's a lure that I practically learned to fish on. It's a rapala. I always used to say rapala, but it's a Finnish name and the manufacturer says rapala. Well, we can at least start with it. We've got to get enough fish for our chowder. Let's get out there on the lake. I'm supposed to keep the small bass and throw the big ones away, but this one was so small, it's a baby. I'm not gonna keep a baby. Whoa! Come to daddy! Come to daddy! There you go. It's a good one! I think it's too big. 13 and a half inches. I have to return him, you see? He's too big. The biologists say we have to preserve this guy. I'll throw him back. There's one. Okay, that's an eater. <laughs> he's big enough to eat, but he's too small to throw back in the lake. We need to remove them. Got one. Right away. Okay, all right, my recipe. I'm always trying for that recipe. I think this is just gonna make the cut. Got one. <laughs> okay, it'll do, it'll do, it's just right. Get rid of these little guys. Then the big ones will come along. Hey. Look what I got. Oh! A nice big bluegill. <laughs> Look at the size. I have nothing against the big bluegill. They're great tasting fish. Got him again. Another I think a bluegill. Wow! It must be springtime. The fishing is easy. I want to demonstrate how I fish with this uh, rapala. 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 Cast it out there and I twitch. The whole idea is to make it jump on the surface and catch a fish, you see? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Golly, yes! <laughs> a great demo. Oh my goodness, this is too easy. Fishing is too easy today. 
It's a cool day for spring, but the fish don't mind that it's cold. Wow. Whoa, good fish. Nice. Nice. Okay, not bad. I think he's too big to eat. That's all right, I'm having fun. He's bleeding a little. I'm going to throw him back quickly. You know, sometimes a fish bleeds and you think it's going to die. So I put those on the stringer thinking I better eat them anyway. <laughs> then when I got back to the dock, the fish was fine. I mean, totally fine. So I've let him go. This guy will get well too. Hi. Oh, 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 look at how he's hooked. All crazy hooked. 11 and 3 quarters. Perfect to keep. Oh, look at here. We've got more than enough fish for our recipe. Let's get in the house, fillet these guys, and tomorrow it's fish chowder. Spring is always a great time to fish, and my trusty Rapala was a big part of the success, too. Well, here I have just a pound of the nearly two pounds of fillets we got, and look how nice they turned out. I'm anxious to get started on our fish chowder, but I need a quickie side dish. Let's get on it. I have goat cheese with garlic and herb. I'm going to put three of these packages in this little mixing bowl. I'm not sure how much I need. Bombs away. I don't know how to do this, but I need the zest of a lemon. I'm not a zesty person, I don't know. Here's just a quarter teaspoon or less of salt. I don't want to use too much. The cheese has some salt in it. We have to add pepper, you know that. That's enough. I'm going to set this aside. Here's that lemon again. Let's see how much juice we can get. Oh, yeah. Now it goes in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. At the heart of this little side dish are piquillo peppers. You can find these in any grocery store now. I need to drain them. These are much sweeter than roasted red peppers. They're delicious. I'm just drying these a little by blotting. So all I'm doing is stuffing these piquillo peppers with our goat cheese. And I found out that the piquillos with the big mouths work the best. Come on, open wide. Here comes the choo-choo. All I'm doing now is drizzling our lemon and olive oil over the top. That's it. It's a good side. It's done. It's on with our fish chowder. And chowder requires potatoes. And I have the potatoes right here. Ah, ah, ah. You know better than that. These are not potatoes. These are daikon radish. I'm going to chop them up to resemble potatoes. They're low carb. I'm cutting these to resemble hunks of potatoes. So what I'm doing now is just chunking up the fish. Now check this out. I've got chopped up bacon going on in here, about four or five pieces. I'm going to just crisp it up. This bacon is done. I'm going to get them out, put them on paper towels, all the little pieces. Now into this bacon grease, I'm going to put about, I don't know, eight ounces of onions chopped. And look, our fake potatoes. I'm putting them in now. I'm just gonna cook these 10 minutes. Everything reduced by about one half, and now watch, homemade chicken stock is going in. Well, almost like homemade. Low sodium. I'm gonna put in two cans. Wow, I'm filling this thing up. 
I'm gonna take some of this broth out. The recipe calls for two and a half cups. I put in two cans, that's more than two and a half cups. There you go. I've been simmering this for like 20 minutes and I think I finally got the fake potatoes to the texture I want. Now look, a whole pint, that's two cups of heavy whipping cream are going into this. It's thickened up. I've been simmering this for a long, long time, but the cream has thickened up and now our fish goes in. I'm gonna let this cook four minutes, simmer it for about four minutes until I'm sure the, the fish is cooked. I'm adding two tablespoons of butter. We can do this on low carb. This is ready. I'm gonna bowl it up and add the crispy bacon. I'm going to set the table now, but I need to tell you the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is coming here for dinner tonight and I'm thrilled. Uh, we've been seeing each other for decades though. I, I only wish she would acknowledge the joys of being together. If she did realize the good times, well, that might finally lead her to wanting to marry me. Well, once again, it's my pleasure to have with me the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Chason. Thank you so much for joining me for dinner here at my uh, dingy dour double wide. You had a chance to ingest my low carb fish chowder with a, a side of stuffed piquillo peppers. And what did you think? They were both very good. I, I liked the fact that the radish it, it was very creamy, and the fish was very good, and the radish was excellent. Oh, I liked that far better than potatoes. Me too. Cute. It was and it was tender. Sweet and tender. And, yes, and it was very good. And then the, the piquillo peppers added a nice contrast because they were bright and, you know, and they were the and lovely stuffing with the goat cheese and then the bit of drizzle of the lemon over the mm, top. I like it was that. All, all the flavors came together very wonderfully. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miss Cheeks, oh, I, I mean Lulu, I can say that now. Uh, don't you agree that we've had some wonderful times since we met 52 years ago? Yes, we have, mostly while you were away fishing. Huh? Oh, uh, can I have a hug? Mm -hmm.